Hey everybody, Sean and Lacey here, and today we are talking about delegation. Delegation is one of those things that so many entrepreneurs struggle with, especially when they're starting up in business or they're running a business entirely by themselves. And so today we wanna to give you some strategies and some tips on how to delegate better. This is gonna be overcoming your fears, this is gonna be overcoming the hangups and all the reasons that you tell yourself that you can't delegate. So if you'd like to get a copy of the Delegation Matrix, which is a document that we've created, just comment delegate below. But if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link in the description that you can click to get access. Now everybody knows that they need to delegate certain things in their lives, but many times we run into a few hangups. However, I'm sure that you would already agree that you know that you need to delegate some things, but you're not really sure which things you need to delegate. So we're gonna discuss that in this short video. You also might feel like nobody else can delegate or can do the things as good as you if you delegate yeah. them to them. And you also might feel like you don't have enough time. You might feel like delegating actually will end up costing more time than just doing the thing yourself because you have to train somebody. And a few of you might even think, well, I don't even have enough money to be paying somebody that leaves you caught in this vicious circle where you just feel like, look, I'm just stuck. I can't get out of this. Thanks for the guide, but I'm gonna go <laughs> back to my old ways. But here's the reality of it, right? Like even though you have those stories and you have those limiting beliefs around delegating, bottom line is you're listening to this video because you actually have a desire to do it. You have a desire to do things that generate revenue for you. You wanna be infused and engulfed in all of the high paying activities, not the things that are on your to-do list that you could actually pay somebody for. And you know this is a smart business decision. That's why you're still here. The other thing that you want is you do want more free time. I mean, all of our clients, when they're talking to us, they're like, listen, I wanna be able to free up my time but I'm doing everything in my business. And when you're doing everything in your business, the last thing that you're gonna find in that long to-do do list is time <laughs> to do nothing, right? I mean, that's just the reality of it. And then the last thing is that we know that the majority of you, you don't wanna be a solopreneur forever. You didn't get into the game of being an entrepreneur to work by yourself, for yourself, for the rest of your life. You want to grow and scale. And if you have those three desires, look, the only way to do that is to delegate. So Lacey created this phenomenal delegation matrix, which we are going to offer you today. Again, remember just comment delegate or click on the link if you're watching us on YouTube and get a copy of the matrix. Basically consists of four parts. The first part, it's four lists. The first part is to make a list of all of the things that you love to do and that you're actually good at. Now mm -hmm. you can kind of pick up the rhythm here as we go along, but look, sit down and take the time to write this out. These are all the things that I love to do and I'm really good at them. These are probably the last things that get delegated. So it's a very simple starting point. All the things that you love to do and you're actually good at them. The second list is things I hate to do, but I'm good at. I can't tell you how many people I talk to that they're like, this comes naturally for me. This specific task comes so easy for me. I'm great at it but I hate to do it. And because I hate to do it, oftentimes it goes to the bottom of my to-do list or after I do it, I feel literally energetically drained even though it comes easy to me. This is a, a part of the list that potentially, depending on what we're looking at, you could delegate out. Again, even though you're good at it, if it's energetically draining you, that means it's taking up space for something else that you could be doing that could be generating you more revenue. So this list is really, really important. The next one is, Sometimes a head scratcher at the beginning, but if you sit and reflect on this, I think you'll understand the next is to create a list of all the things that you love to do, but you're actually bad at them. I think about people that love maybe creating their own websites. There's a lot of things that people are like, oh no, no, I can do this. Um, but if you were objective about it, you're like, it's not the best. I mean, if I hired somebody, I could have a really beautiful website. I mean, mine just looks okay, but I just had so much fun. I enjoy the process. I like doing it. If you could begin to identify these things. Now, look, these are things that could be delegated yep. and 
honestly, maybe you would contemplate your degree of I'm not that good at it to decide what things would be delegated. Not to say that maybe you couldn't keep some of these things on as just a part of you know a hobby, you a passion project fun. in your business. But if you're trying to grow and scale a business, these are the things that will soon become apparent that need to be delegated. Oh, and the last list, this is the best list. This is the stuff that you hate to do and you're bad at. But because you're a solopreneur and you're in your business, oftentimes you take on all of these tasks because there's nobody else to do it. Once you write out this list naturally, this is the very first thing and this is the very first list that you're going to delegate out. You're going to find people that are really good and really efficient at these to-dos and you're gonna say, I'm handing this off right away because it's draining my energy, I don't love doing it, and frankly, I don't do it well. And so this is one of the best lists and I would say that most of our clients when they take this list and they delegate it out, the amount of freedom alone that they feel by giving that to somebody that's good at it and it gets energized by it is, uh, I mean, you can't pay for that. And I have one more pro tip before you go on. If you're not a solopreneur, if you're not doing this by yourself and you have a team, this is a great exercise to have your team do as well to see if you're actually having them do things that maybe they don't even think they're good at. I've found that in business, a lot of our clients are able to flip-flop some of the day-to-day -day tasks between employees. It creates higher energy and more productivity and more efficiencies in your business. All right, so Lacey has created a really easy cheat sheet, if you will, called the Delegation Matrix. And we would like to offer that cheat sheet for download to you absolutely free. All you need to do is comment delegate if you are watching this video in the Service Based Entrepreneur Club. Now, if you're watching us on YouTube, there is a link in the description where you can just simply click on the link and gain access to the cheat sheet. And I'm sure once you've done this, you download it, you begin to work through it, you'll begin to have questions about, well, what do I do next? Who do I delegate it to? Well, hopefully you are a <laughs> part of the Service Based Entrepreneur Club because in that club, absolutely free group on Facebook, we will be continuing the conversation and dropping more tips on how you can begin to free yourself of some of these chains that are holding you back from your true potential and destiny with your business. Lacey and I want to help you to reach even more people, make an even bigger impact, and of course, to create the lifestyle of your dreams. Comment, delegate below, or click on the link if you are watching us on YouTube.